The theme of this year's World Health Day is universal health coverage. UHC's promise is bold, that all people can access quality health services when and where they need them without suffering financial hardship. The benefits are clear. UHC is central to improving health and well-being, a fundamental human right. Healthier populations in turn create more productive economies that raise living standards. UHC also strengthens health security by making it easier to contain the spread of infectious disease and respond effectively to natural disasters. The case for UHC is decisive. Health equity, development and security. UHC's revolutionary promise can and must be fully harnessed. Importantly, UHC is feasible. A number of countries in our region have already made significant progress. They began doing so when they were designated low income. No country starts from zero. There are always opportunities to move ahead. Since 2014, WHO Southeast Asia has worked to leverage these opportunities, identifying UHC as a flagship priority and in consultation with member countries, implementing a series of game-changing initiatives. Initiatives that can increase human resources for health, not only to enhance the skills of health workers and the quality of services available, but also to aid staff retention in rural and hard to reach areas. Initiatives that adapt frontline services to meet the needs of the region's aging populations, as well as the growing burden of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. And we have devised innovative mechanisms for inter-country collaboration, such as the Southeast Asia Regulatory Network that help make safe, good quality medicines and medical products accessible to all. In each of these areas and more, progress has been made. Data shows that in recent years, health services coverage has improved in all of the region's 11 member countries. That is to be celebrated. But region-wide challenges remain immense. Around half of our region's population still lacks full access to essential health services. Some 65 million are pushed into extreme poverty, mainly due to paying out of pocket for medicines. Our challenge is indeed formidable, but we must remember that progress is at all times possible, that UHC is a goal that we will realize progressively, sometimes with rapid groundbreaking strides, sometimes by a gradual though crucial reform. Today on World Health Day, we must reflect on and resolve always to work towards achieving UHC's promise, a promise that is bold yet simple and will change the lives of millions of people across the region and beyond. Health coverage that is universal, health coverage that is for all people everywhere and which leaves no one behind.